Kevin, nice to see you today. So you. Apple very much focusing on original news then rather than sort of aggregated content that some of the other platforms provide. Well, potentially, yes. Yeah. We're talking about editors rather than yeah. actual necessarily reporters or writers. Yeah. But it's it's the algorithms that Facebook are likely to be using as other services use, which really personalise content to you, the user, by using the cookies that we all hear about, by mm. using your personal data. Um, and Apple have stepped back from that previous and said, look, we're not going to use that to, to uh, attack you, to harass you with advertising. And actually, we're going to in involve these editors like they have done for the Apple Music, as we heard last week, mm, bringing yeah. in some big name DJs across the world to try and give that personalised content, that Apple experience, which is something different maybe to, some, to everywhere else. Uh, how do you think they'll fare against some of the big boys like the NBCs of this world, Sky News, the BBC? You know, they've been doing it for years, haven't they? Will Apple they have. uh, take a share of their market, do you think? Well, it's, they're new to the market. And as we've seen with Apple before, they try to do everything slightly bigger, slightly better than everyone else. Maybe this is the next thing as well. But what I expect it to be is more of a driver through to its other services. It's an app that's it's being developed. But as they talk about uh, reducing the mobile marketing, mobile advertising, which is going to happen on its Safari platform, as we heard last week, this is maybe another way to push some revenue back to the people who are affected most, perhaps, which is the news services who are relying more and more on advertising content to support, to finance their, uh, their, their products, particularly online. So it's a new thing. Uh, let's move on to another story in the news mm. today. Um, we've got a, a story of James Proud, who's a 23-year-old tech entrepreneur yeah. in Silicon Valley. Um, he has got a, a sleep uh, monitoring device, uh, which he founded a couple of years ago and is now um, looking to crowdfund 40, I think, 40 million dollars right. uh, for this new platform. And I just think that it's so fascinating how someone so young has rece uh, received and, and, and generated such a, a business model at yep. such a young age. Uh, what do you think that's down to? What, what's, is it all about the tech or is it the sector? I think there's a, there's a number of elements, and for, for James in particular, he, he mm. was coding at nine. Now, for me and yeah. you, that's, that's probably something we didn't <laughs> even think about. Um, yeah. uh, and, and, and it just wasn't even part of the curriculum. Yeah. Even for him it wasn't, I guess, even that, well, however many years ago that was. Yeah. Um, but, but now it's part of life. And people who are getting younger and younger, they're looking at new ideas, new ways of doing things. But one of the difficulties for young entrepreneurs in particular is that lack of business experience, that commercial experience. So it's important, and what he's done is with his new company is to bring on a whole load of professional um, experience support. So we've got people there from Google, there from Apple, there from Spotify, from PayPal, all forming part of his board uh, of directors to advise him to, to get this product into shape for this potentially going for £250 million worth of valuation now they expect, £40 million pounds of, uh, pounds of crowdfunding, mm -hmm. but all started from a Kickstarter. Yeah. Um, only a few years ago, and they're just shipping out their products now, 20,000 I think of these products are going out. Mm -hmm. Great story, but word to the wise, get the experience, get the specialists, and specialists on board, and particularly if you want to focus on mass market appeal rather than a sector-specific product. So it's Kevin, interesting. Kevin Paul, the sound words as always. Thank you very much Thank indeed you. for that.